Hello, good morning. This is Ilf Fadar here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Tuesday, the 30th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so look at, let's look at the stats then for European markets at the moment, certainly wilting. The uh, FTSE down 46, almost 50 points. The German DAX down more than 50 points. French CAC is certainly down as well. Okay, on the back of a weak economic data just out, uh, we have had uh, weaker inflation numbers this morning. Money supply out of the UK, certainly weaker. Mortgage applications, certainly weaker as well. Okay, in terms of Eurozone, GDP numbers coming in slightly weaker than expected year on year basis. Consumer confidence just coming just, uh, more or less in line. Services, industrial confidence, business climate, and economic sentiment numbers all coming in weaker than expected. And therefore, one would expect a weaker euro going forward. So bear that in mind, okay, in terms of the market itself. Uh, overnight, we've had Asian markets certainly subdued and under pressure, although Shanghai index probably the only one that uh, outshone, okay, shook off the actual uh, weakness, so just bear that in mind. In terms of European markets, uh, we've had weakness from the outset, given the fact that US equity markets were under pressure on the back of Apple stocks certainly uh, taking a hit. Apple is quite a uh, large percentage of US equity, so bear that in mind, hence the reason why the Nasdaq is called the Apple DAC as opposed to uh, the rest of the components okay now let's keep moving okay let's keep moving in terms of economic or as we say technical uh, positions let's see exactly where the market is headed okay so euro usd currently trading above that 1.24 on the back of a weaker dollar weak economic numbers will keep the euro at base so just bear that in mind uh, german dax at the moment is finding potential support here now you've got gap field below 13185 so bear that in mind 60 minute chart at the moment certainly seems to have put in a potential double bottom scenario here okay so watch out for this double bottom here on the german dax here around the 1322 and again you've got the unfilled gap at 1318 should the market start start to slide german dax certainly seems to have made a base from my perspective now uh, my understanding german dax certainly making a base here looking to potentially uh, thrust to move higher so uh, again you're looking at targeting potential gap fill above at 13325 so let's see if we can close that gap uh, in this zone here okay let's see if that gap can close so again you're looking for a higher low here okay on the german dax then obviously looking to thrust higher that's my interpretation there okay so put bullish bias on german dax from here in terms of the french card let's look at this again i've been mentioning this for quite some time now you've got hns formation 60 minute chart so again french card certainly uh, indicating weakness uh, previous uh, support equals resistance now and gap fill at 5520 you do have the unfilled gap below at 5480. Let's see if we can close that. So again, battle gaps. Daily chart, as you can see here, hey, HS formation with a target at 5390. You've got gap fill at 510 and you've got gap fill at 5330. So watch out for those levels. Again, we need the euro really rallying quite substantially, and that will obviously be aided by a weaker dollar. Now let's see if that can obviously unfold. Now, Mr. Trump certainly going down the road of trade protectionism, which again is is bearish for the um, is negative for the actual uh, uh, negative for world trade and global trade and US trade as well but with an idiot like him anything is possible okay so when you've got morons in control expect more on reactions and more on outcomes okay so that's probably the best way of describing that okay so again full C100 uh, certainly flushed uh, hasn't closed that gap yet at uh, 75715 so watch out there okay I've certainly shorted this twice uh, now I've been I've, I've, I've done well today in terms of the FTSE looking certainly short in weakness now bear in mind you do have the gap uh, at uh, 7670 so watch out for a potential short squeeze it can happen at any time now especially given the fact that German DAX certainly is putting a double bottom one would expect that short squeeze certainly to ensue so so be be mindful of that okay in terms of the market so um, again nobody ever got went broke taking a profit so always remember that quote 60 minute chart on the FTSE A lot of support around here, around 7615, that breaks and you're looking down at 7585 and then you're going down to 7565 and then you're going down to 7515, so watch out below. Daily chart of the FTSE 100, still a bear flag from my perspective. Again, you've got the breakout territory, so from 7550 to 7600, I mean, the bulls really need to defend that, okay? If the bulls fail to defend that, game over, okay? This market is going higher, so always bear that in mind, okay? Game over, this market is going higher, so... That's the uh, scenario, that's the situation and status quo in terms of uh, equities. Let's just go to Eurostox, last but not least, give you an insight here. Eurostox, again, finding support at this double bottom here now. Okay, uh, you've got diagonal trend line support as well. 
But having said that, again, looking at the larger scheme of things, you've got a H&S formation. So, again, uh, trade your bias. Okay, trade your bias. So, technically looking quite weak there as well. Uh, daily chart, as we already know, you've hit a double top, a gap fill. And the weekly chart, we already know it's a hell of resistance. So, if the euro starts to rally and therefore puncture the export side of the equation, we've already had the ECB acting and, uh, and certainly sounding hawkish. All those things put together doesn't bode well for the European economy. So again, it's um, I'd hit and play to your bias. I'd hit your time frame. If you're trading weekly, obviously you're going to be bearish. If you're trading daily, you may well be bullish. And if you're trading 10 minutes or you're 60 minutes or you're 240 minutes, etc., just take trade your time frame. Each time frame has its own bias as well. So bear that in mind. Either way, uh, it's, I'm a day traders. I'm a day trader majority of the time. Okay. Uh, and I just trade whichever way the market moves. I mean, I might make this video now, and 10 minutes later, my bias may have shifted. So again, just be fluid. Be as fluid as the market, okay? Be willing to shift your bias as the market shifts its bias. Your opinion counts on nothing, folks. Just bear that in mind. The sooner you understand that, the, the, the quicker you'll become an uh, a better trader. So your opinion counts on nothing. Your analysis in reality counts on nothing. It's a market's analysis. It's a market's bias that you have to adhere to and adopt, okay? Either way, I think as the video is long enough now, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Be sure to download that Trade Signal app and be sure to visit CFDs.com. Certainly take advantage of that amazing bonus. Either way, uh, goodbye and God bless.